Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Kevin Silver, and I want to welcome you to this Viralizer's Twitter Tribe Building Challenge. In this challenge, I'm going to be showing you how to build a tribe on Twitter. Now, first, let's talk about why you need to build a tribe on Twitter. Number one, sharing links is okay. And what I mean by that is if you share links on Twitter, it's cool, right? Nobody complains. Uh, it's kind of expected. It's it's the only thing that you're supposed to do, right? It's kind of the norm. And also, people are cool with leaving Twitter. A lot of sites, you know, people don't want to leave Facebook. A lot of sites uh, like YouTube, people won't click on the links. Whereas on Twitter, I mean, pretty much that's what people do. They share links, people click them, they go to other websites, and they come back to Twitter. And if they like them, they share them. Now, Twitter is also the easiest place to spot viralizer fans okay so there's no other site believe me i mean social media is going to be one of our main focuses in viralizers and um there's not many other sites that i'm going to be able to show you ways to just laser target in seconds the retweeters you know the sharers the likers the commenters just wait until you see the formulas i've come up with for you i mean they're gonna blow you away um even i till today when i look at them i just even though, you know, I've been, I've known them now for, for months, uh, I still think to myself, like, wow, that's a crazy freaking formula. Next, it's also the easiest site to recruit those viralizer fans into your tribe. So it's one thing to go to Facebook and see all the fans this guy has, but it's another thing to get them into your tribe. On Facebook, yeah, you can, like, you know, friend request the people, but number one, I mean, look at the label. You got to friend request them, right? People got to think, oh, you know, you get emails from people. You know, why are you accept, why are you requesting me as a friend? Do I know you? That that doesn't happen on Twitter. You don't see people, you know, hey, why'd you follow me? That that stuff don't happen. On Facebook uh, and on other sites, it's just not as easy to connect with people. On LinkedIn, I mean, you got to answer all these questions. I know this person from here. Whereas on Twitter, it's not like that. So I'm going to be able to show you ways to not only spot the viralizer fans, but recruit them into your tribe. Next, you can put the tribe building on cruise control. Now, the reason I call it cru uh, cruise control is because, yeah, I'm going to show you how to automate all this stuff. However, you want to put it on cruise control, meaning you want to be in the driver's seat, okay? The way I look at it is like this. There's only one thing that I, I automate in my all my tr uh, uh, Twitter tribe building, which is the targeting of and recruiting of viralizer fans into my tribe. However, as soon as, you know, I, I, I have I have the automation running all day long, and I'm recruiting people into my tribe. However, once that person, you know, follows me back, I'm right there to say, hey, you know, great meeting you, great connecting with you, um, looking forward to your stuff, I'll look at their profile, I'm right there to interact with them. If they respond to me in a direct message, I'm right there to respond. You have to be in the driver's seat. Believe me when I tell you that, you know, building a tribe on Twitter, building a tribe in general, everything I'm going to be showing you in viralizers, period. It, I mean, these this tribe that you build, you know, all the tribes that you build on, on Google+, Plus, it's all going to be one big tribe, right? And it, when you put them all together, that tribe is going to become the biggest asset your company holds, Okay. Nothing else will compare to the tribe that we're going to build. Think about this. How valuable is it going to be to have a tribe, a group of people that all of them are viralizer fans, meaning all of them are interested in your topic, their sharers, their likers, their commenters. Think about how powerful that's going to be. Think about having thousands of retweeters and sharers and likers and commenters Every time you post, a, you know, a new video out or a new article, just think about that. And there's no better place to get viralizers than Twitter. I mean, it's just nothing but viralizing. It's nothing but people seeing stuff, sharing it, seeing stuff, sharing it. That's how Twitter works. You have to know how to use it, though. Don't get me wrong, because, you know, it, it was just a few months ago where I still didn't get Twitter. I was like, what the hell is up with Twitter? Why does everybody like it? How can some people be, be all about it? And how do some people just not get it? Me, for one, you know, I would try the whole put out a question like, you know, hey, do you like peanut butter or jam? You know, I heard that that was a question that you ask and you get responses. And that was just stupid. There are ways to jump in on conversations that are going on right now. 
I'm talking about live conversations that you can jump in that are so targeted um, and that you don't have to deal with all the BS that you see on Facebook. Now, don't get me wrong. Is Facebook powerful? Absolutely. Our fan page is awesome. Yep. You know, there's there's reasons to use Facebook, but there's reasons to uh, use Twitter. I'm talking about the reasons to use Twitter right now, so that's why we're going to talk up Twitter. But don't get me wrong. Facebook can be just as powerful in other ways. So let's move on. What are you going to learn in this tribe building challenge? Number one, I'm going to show you how to target the most active viralizers in your market. I'm also going to show you how to target the hungriest buyers, the retweeters. I'm going to show you how to hijack conversations in your market, but in a cool way. Okay, I'm not going to show you how to go spam, but how to jump in on conversations. I'm going to show you how to recruit and find, and well, I should say find and then recruit all the people who love to attend events. People that love to attend webinars, seminars, conferences. How do you target them? How do you get them into your tribe? I'm going to show you how to build relationships with all of them. Okay, but we're not going to do it in hours. How to do it in minutes. Understand this. Uh, it was Robert Cialdini that said, Robert Cialdini, if you don't know, is, you know, he's the man. When it comes to persuasion and inf- building influence and persuasion, he is, you know, he, he's the man. He created the laws uh, of, of building persuasion. Now, he also talks about something called moments of power. We have moments that are the most powerful for building influence and building persuasion. Now, depending on how much training you've done from viralizers so far, whether you listen to the podcast you might not know uh, that the viralizers, you know, us as a tribe, what we are set out to do is build influence and persuasion in our market. Okay, some people are all about the money, right? They're all about the sell, 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 make money, they're chasing money. But to do that, they always have to be selling. And if you're always selling, you're the person that nobody wants to see, right? You're the person, you know, you're the salesman coming to knock on the door where everybody hides, You don't want to be that person. You want to be the person that everybody wants to be around, everybody loves, that that attracts people to them. And to do that, we build persuasion and influence. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. And I'm going to show you how to do this in a few seconds, okay? And we do it by taking advantage of the moment of power that we have, which is right after you recruit someone into your tribe, especially this tribe, okay? Especially the people that we're going to be recruiting into your tribe, They're going to be the most active people on Twitter, okay? See that first one there, how to target the most active viralizers in your market. Here's the deal. When it comes down to it, most courses and formulas out there, they're going to teach you what? Oh, go follow all the followers of one of your competitors. Here's the deal with that. It's a complete waste of your time because 90% of those people either don't sign into Facebook anymore, are fake accounts, or they're just not interested in your topic anymore. Right? Maybe they followed your competitor years ago and they just never unfollowed the person. Uh, maybe they don't sign in anymore, right? Maybe they just don't even come to Twitter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to target and recruit someone who within the past 24 to 48 hours either shared, commented on, uh, you know, retweeted something related to your topic. Okay, think about that. So you're only going to be recruiting people into your tribe that did something in the past 24 to 48 hours that was related to your topic, directly related to whatever it is you're going to be talking about, whatever your passion is, whatever it is that you're trying to sell or or promote, that's what they were talking about, okay? So these are going to be the viralizer fans. Now, here's why that's so powerful. You see, because the formulas I'm going to be teaching you are going to show you how to target these viralizer fans in ways that are so targeted that people that are not really interested in your topic would never be in, okay? So what I'm trying to say is I'm not going to be showing you formulas like go do a search for your keyword and that's it. And anybody who mentioned, you know, if your market was podcasting, anybody who said the word podcasting, let's go get those people. No, because somebody could be saying, I hate podcasting, right? You don't want that person. So what we do is I'm going to be showing you a whole range of formulas that are going to show you how to get the most targeted people. So I'm talking about jumping in on conversations that only the most loyal and and craziest rabid followers of your topic would even know exist, that kind of stuff, and so much more. So here's the deal. Here's the action steps you need to take next. Number one, sign up for this Twitter try building challenge. You need to sign up. 
when you sign up using the form that should be somewhere on this page, it's going to trigger a sequence. That sequence will walk you through this challenge. Now, here's how this works. This challenge is going to be, it's, it's considered a mini challenge. What I wanted to do was create challenges that are three to four days tops. Okay. So you're going to get a new lesson every day. And each day you're going to be given a set of steps that you need to go take action on. And that sequence is going to walk you through the daily steps. Now, here's how this all works. Viralizers challenges in general work like this. I put together a bunch of challenges that are going to walk you through the biggest business building formulas that you need to be implementing. You know, how to do keyword research, uh, how to record your first audio, how to record your first screen captured video, uh, you know, how to build your tribe on Twitter. There's going to be a whole range of them. Instead of giving you one challenge that lasts six months, um, I wanted to give you little mini challenges. Each one has one result and one result only. And there's sequences that are going to walk you through each step. So the first thing you need to do is sign up for this challenge to be added to that sequence. Next, share with your friends that you're going to be taking this challenge. Statistics have shown that if you state publicly to where your friends and family know that you're going to be taking some challenge, they're going to start asking you about it. So you're going to be held accountable by someone other than yourself, which as you and I, and probably most of the online entrepreneurs that we know are usually all, you know, solo entrepreneurs, right? We work alone. And the problem with that is we're the only ones that know what tasks we need to get done by tomorrow. And that's a problem. Right, because it's so easy to be like, ah, you know, I'll I'll do that one tomorrow. I'll put that off till you know after the weekend. You know, it's so easy to put it off, put it off, and we never get it done. Why? Because no, there's nobody there to hold us accountable. So that's why you're gonna share this challenge with your friends. You're gonna let everyone know you're taking this challenge. Then what you need to do is every day watch the video that goes along with each lesson, and then take action on the steps that you learned in that video. Then what you do is share the completion of each step. So every day you're going to get a new lesson, okay? It's only going to be three or four days, but there'll be multiple challenges you could sign up for. Each one will be a few days. Now, if you don't want to wait till tomorrow to receive the next lesson, there's a way, there's a little loophole. You can get the next lesson today. And the way you do it is by sharing that you completed that step with your family and friends. So again, this is putting it out there to your family and friends saying that you just completed this step, which is meant to build up momentum and get people talking and get people seeing that you're taking action. So all you have to do if you want to get the next step one day early, you just share the completion of that step. Then once you're done with this challenge, you sign up for another challenge. Now, if you want to, you could sign up for as many challenges as you want whenever right now. Just know that if you sign up for more than one challenge, you're going to be getting lessons for each of those challenges. So, you know, I don't want to be sending you, you know, too many emails. However, with that said, you're not going to be receiving those emails forever, right? Each challenge is going to be three or four uh, days. So, you know, it's not like you'll be getting a ton of emails every single day for, for months. It's only going to be for that, you know, period of time, whatever, three or four days. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Sign up for this challenge. Watch the first lesson go through the steps, then each day, come back, complete the next step. And I promise you, what you're going to be learning is unlike anything you've been taught before, especially when it comes to Twitter tribe building in this challenge. The first lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to target the retweeters of your competitors, how to literally find the retweeters of your competitors and recruit them into your tribe on complete autopilot, or should I say cruise control. Okay, how to recruit those retweeters into your tribe. And listen, all it comes down to is if you have equal to or better than content than your competitor, what do you think that viralizer fan is going to do when they see your content? Never mind once you build some persuasion and influence with them by building a relationship, which chances are your competitor is not doing. So that's it for this video. Sign up for the Twitter tribe building challenge and I'll see you on the next video.